What's up guys, it's Wednesday. It's time for the Wednesday walkthrough. I got some new arrivals that are pretty freaking cool. Check them out. So first up, we got the 1963 W200 Power Wagon Crew Cab. I've been looking for one of these for a long time. They're out there, but they're hard to find in running driving condition where they aren't completely rotted out. This one's pretty solid. I mean, she's got the typical rust in the steps. Floors have been patched, but the seats are nice. She runs and drives, and it's got a V8 in it. Most of them are a slant six, which is fine, but they're geared so low that you can't go above 50 miles an hour. This one actually runs, drive, cruises. You know, it'll cruise at 60, no problem. Um, so I just got it in. I got to go through it and do what I normally do. But, man, she is so cool. Original NASA truck. Yeah, she's got some rust in the step there. But, man, so freaking cool. So freaking cool. Anyways, yeah, original Air Force truck. I'm sorry, original Air Force truck. But supposedly this remote sensing, something to do with NASA? I don't know. That's what the previous owner told me. I don't know if it's true or not, but man, she's cool. I don't have a price on it yet because I still want to play with it, enjoy it, and get my fill out of it. But stay tuned. I'll, you know, I'll have one eventually. I'll let you guys know what I'm going to do with it. But man, is she cool. So then we got the 1974 W200 Club Cab. This is the original paint, one owner truck, 360 automatic, runs and drives great. Got a little bit of rust starting on the bottom of the fender. A little bit of rust starting in the uh, wheel lip. All the trim is there. Driver's seat needs redone. The floors are nice. Look at the original vinyl, vinyl mat. Intact. Underneath. Really clean and dry. Yeah, nice truck. Really nice truck. <laughs> Once I go through and do everything on it, fix everything, probably be low to mid 20s if you want it as is i do 14,000 on it so yeah then we got the 1974 w200 club cab this is an adventure sport truck sport package i'm sorry uh original paint 364 speed really clean truck floors are beautiful on it He's put back together. I got all the parts to put the dash and the door panel and everything back on. But, yeah. Truck runs and drives. Runs like shit. Needs a carburetor. But it does run and drive. So, be a nice project. Original paint truck. Uh, I do 10,000. I'm sorry, 10.5. 10,500 on it as is. All right. Then we got the 1979 D300 Cowboy Cadillac. It's a 364 speed truck. Original paint slash patina out of Arizona. Solid truck, really solid. Floors have some rust, they've been patched, but runs and drives, same thing. Needs a carb. Uh, I'm planning on clearing it, lowering it, putting some big wheels on it, just making it really cool uh, I do 10,000 on it as is if not you can just wait until I'm done she's gonna be sweet then we have 1971 w100 power wagon this adventure package short bed truck pretty rare um, 318 automatic runs and drives again this is a project pretty solid passenger side step and rockers really nice floor slash body mount needs some love same thing on the driver's side but all lights and gauges work um, I do 13.5 on it as is all right here we go uh, the big blue ox she sold I'm just finishing up a couple things on it and then she's going to Texas and we got old blue 1969 w200 power wagon it's a factory 383 four-speed truck original paint adventure package solid truck 
everything's there. Runs and drives really well. Um, got some rust in the rockers. A little bit in a step. I'm planning on uh, doing the rockers and the step. Obviously, after I do that, price is going to go up. But uh, if you want it as is, I'd do 17000 on it. Lights, gauges, radio, heater, wipers, they all work. Turn signals. It's a nice... Nice old running, driving farm truck. So, 17,000 on old blue. We got the Volkswagen thing out today, 1973 Volkswagen thing. 67,000 original miles, original paint, rust free, four speed. Yeah, solid floors. This thing's so much fun. These are so cool. Uh, 23.9 on the thing. Then we got the 1980 D100. I just got this one in. I haven't even washed it yet. Uh, it's a 318 automatic truck. Came out of California. Nice interior. Runs and drives nice. Rust free. Uh, I still need to, you know, go through it and do everything on it, but got a lot of potential I'm gonna put a new windshield in it you know just check everything over make it a nice a nice truck for somebody so once I'm done price will be somewhere around 21.9 so yeah and then big red she was sold that deal fell through and uh, then I just had a gentleman this afternoon commit to buy it so now it's sold again so yeah Going inside, we got the 1984 Dodge W350 Crew Cab. This is an original 360 four-speed truck. It now has a 440 in it, 440, with a, still with the four-speed. Original paint truck, really nice. It's been buffing on the past two days, coming out pretty good. I uh, still need to go through the interior, clean up the interior, but she's solid. It's got some surface rust on the floors, but no holes or anything. Uh, odometer looks like 108,000. But yeah, she's really rare truck, super cool. So yeah, stay tuned for that one. I don't have a price on it yet because, like I said, I still need to go through it. I got to put a bumper on it, and you know, just make it a nice piece. But stay tuned for that. Then we got a 1967 Plymouth Barracuda. Original paint, 383, four speed, one owner car. Uh, special order bench seat, four speed car. 88,000 original miles, full documentation, build sheet, owner's manual, CERTA card, service records, pictures the day it was new. Yeah, 65,000 on the Barracuda. Then we got the 1971 Volkswagen Dune Buggy. I purchased this off of the original owner. Uh, it was completed in 1981. Still the original paint. This is a 1300 cc motor, four speed transmission. Runs and drives great. Lights, turn signal, gauges, everything works. She's a ready to go beach cruiser, baby. 15,000 on a Dune Buggy. Coming on back here, the uh, 85 Ram Charger is sold. Just waiting for that to get shipped out. And then we have the 1973 W100 Power Wagon. This is a four wheel drive, single cab, long bed, original paint truck out of Nevada. Beautiful interior. It runs and drives flawlessly. 364 barrel. Yeah, I mean, it's a really, really nice truck, rust free. Just the right amount of patina on it. She's straight. Really nice truck. It's got the uh, really rare embossed tailgate for 73. I love those tailgates, they're so cool. Um, 21.9 on that baby. And then we got the tangerine tank back here. We're just finishing up the floor pans on it. Give you guys a little sneak peek here. Yeah, so I just got the floor pans welded in. I got to uh, 
put some POR15 down and some seam sealer and she'll be ready to go. So that baby's almost done. So yeah, that is your Wednesday walkthrough. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> if you guys got any questions, you see anything you like, if you want more info or pictures or videos, just give me a call or shoot me a text, 330-729-5732. Tommy's Toy Box, located in beautiful Struthers, Ohio. All right, guys, have a good night. We'll see you.